And to think, when I left here for court yesterday, I actually thought I'd have a home to come back to. Go figure. Look, I know my life is a train wreck, but please, no rubbernecking, all right? Just go. You're going to be late for your own trial. I'm not leaving till I'm sure you're all right. Look, I'm fine. The first thing I'm going to do is take a week-long shower and then crawl into the covers for another week. What? What, are you standing there waiting for me to thank you for posting bail for me? Well, thank you. Now go. Come to court with me today. Why? Will there be somebody there who hasn't had the thrill yet of seeing me publicly humiliated? That shoe, please. Carly, I know what I've done to your life. Oh, you do, do you? Yes, I do. I see the rift between you and Jack. I know how you're hurting. But still, the smartest thing for you to do today would be to walk into that courtroom with your head up. Let the world know you've got nothing to be ashamed of, nothing to hide. Come on, how can I do that? Nobody believes me, Craig, not even Jack. Well, it's the truth, isn't it? Well, I, I don't think the truth is going to be enough to stop Jessica Griffin from nailing us to matching crosses. I know it's hard to take advice from someone you're mad at. The moment I take advice from you will be the same moment I book myself into a padded room next to Julia. Yeah, well, okay. I take the stand today, you know. Well, good luck. I'm going to deny the allegations Jessica tried to sell the jury about us. Huh? I will explain the pictures, how I took you off guard, how you bawled me out, you stomped on my foot. Those are just words, Craig. That picture's worth a thousand of them. I will make sure the jury knows that we were never like that. Okay? So why don't you take a five-minute version of that week-long shower and just come with me, okay? No. No, because with my luck, I would slip and fall on the bathroom tile and you'd have to come into my rescue and the paparazzi would sneak out of the medicine cabinet and start snapping pictures. Let's just let the, the bail you posted for me be the last thing I ever take from you. Okay? Good. Yeah, you know, you should go because you're going to make them think that you could care less whether or not they throw you in the clink. Sure I can't change your mind? Yes, I'm sure. Good luck. This is... This is it for... For us, huh? Whatever us was. late for breakfast. We'll call it lunch. Thanks. Thank you. But I, I thought you might have to work today moving bikes from shore to shore or something. It's the early bird that gets Lucinda to give him the rest of the day off. <laughs> e. I thought we'd grab our stuff and make that cottage look like our own. Now? No time like the present. Well, I, um, I, I thought I'd go to court this afternoon. <clears throat> for another dose of pain, Jen? <laughs> and the day your mom testified, you were completely wrecked. Yeah, well, my mom didn't want to see me because she was embarrassed about what Craig did to her, and she feels like some sort of monster. And today, the real monster is taking the stand, and I cannot wait to watch him fry. If he fries, my... my mom is taking the stand as a character witness. How could she? I know, I know. I just... I want this whole thing to be over with. What if it never is over? I don't want to spend the rest of my life paying for my father's mistakes. You know, I, I don't blame you for what your dad did. I just want to be with you, Jen. 
in that cottage without the rest of the world telling us what to do or who we are. Well, I'll, I'll tell you what. Go to the courthouse with me this afternoon, and we'll come back here, pack up my stuff, and move in together tonight. You mean that? You got yourself a deal? <laughs> he spoke to Dr. Michaels. About what? I, I couldn't find out. Here's Dr. Michaels now, Julia. <laughs> oh. Were you looking for me? Uh, she had some questions for you, doctor. Oh, thank you, Annette. Did something happen since our last session? I've, I've been scared. Why? Is there something that you're keeping from me? I don't understand. I, I, I know that Hal came here. I know he talked to you. Was it about Barbara? Because you know, Dr. Michaels, Barbara is one of my very oh, best well, friends. Hal and and it did come here, but he did not have news about Barbara. He came to ask questions about Owen. Owen? But, but he went home to be with his family m months ago. No, he's still in Oakdale, apparently. And in trouble with the police? Owen. He, he can barely talk. Well, that's not true, Julia. You know that. Owen speaks very well for himself now. In fact, that could possibly be because of your patience and encouragement. But if he's in trouble... Do you know something about Owen? Something that could help Hal? Why would I? Indeed. Well, I... I really assume it's a formality. Police ask questions, that's what they do. Doesn't mean that Owen is in any kind of trouble. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Annette. Julia seems very agitated today. I want you to keep an eye on her and let me know if she seems despondent or upset. Let me know if there's any change at all in her behavior. Everything's falling apart. 